them with his expertise. And Andrew, what is the question today? Yeah, we've got a great question because it is kind of a holiday, if you will, especially if you follow uh, space and all things related. So the question coming in from Fred from Morrison, if the Earth is closest to the sun today, why is it still cold? This is a great question. So today is officially known as perihelion day. And what that means is like Fred just said, the Earth, the distance here between the Earth and the sun is at its lowest point for the entire year. So here's how your seasons work. We're in the winter solstice right now. Here's our current position within that season. There's your spring equinox. And there's your distance, 91 million miles, 91 and a half million miles between the Earth and the sun. Now during the summer, we have the aphelion, which is 94 and a half million miles worth of distance between the two. And you're thinking to yourself, well, that's flip-flopped. Why is that the case? Well, it's not about the distance between the Earth and the sun that determines how warm you get. It's the angle at which the Earth is tilted towards or away from the sun that determines that. So this is our tilt right now. Here we are in the northern hemisphere. There's where the Quad Cities is. And to get the most amount of energy or warmth from the sun, you want to be right in the middle of the direct energy sequence here from the sun. And notice how far removed we are from that. We're at the very tip top. So once we get into summer, this angle of tilt actually moves to the left a little bit more, and we're focused more in the middle towards the direct energy of the sun. That's the whole reason why we have changing seasons here. We have changing amount of sun energy depending on the time of year. So hopefully that made some sense. If it doesn't, I promise it will make total sense